If you have a leadership role within a company, you might have heard of a tabletop exercise before. No, I'm not referring to the strength training exercise that will get you those washboard abs. What I'm actually talking about are the decision-based trainings where teams go over the steps to their emergency response plans. They simulate a scenario that would disrupt business operations so that the team members know how to handle the situation if it were to happen in the real world. Cybersecurity breaches are one instance where these tabletop exercises are important. Companies need the best preparation to deal with a data breach, and these collaborative sessions help ensure that. Hi everyone, I'm Matt from eTactics, and today I'm going to share tips for the perfect data breach tabletop exercise. Before we get started though, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, hit that alert bell icon next to it as well, so when we post new helpful content, you get notified. This may seem obvious, but the first step is to tailor the training to the right audience. Since each department will have different roles within a response plan, the tabletop exercise should be geared to the necessary team. Certain scenarios may have different processes and outcomes depending on who participates. Since you need to tailor the exercise to the right audience, you also need to ensure that you're including all necessary parties as well. Anyone who has a role in the scenario's response must be present for the tabletop exercise. Otherwise, there will be gaps in the process. This would make for ineffective or incomplete outcomes. There isn't a way to know that a response plan will be successful if not everyone is present for the actual simulation or exercise. Before diving into the exercise, review each person's role and the objectives. This prepares the team for the necessary steps to have a successful outcome. Let's compare it to the NFL Super Bowl game. The Bengals didn't get to the Super Bowl without going over their plays before each game. By reviewing each teammate's responsibility for the plays, they were set up for more successful outcomes. The same holds true for a tabletop exercise. By going over everyone's role in the response and identifying the expected outcomes, team members will better understand how to navigate a data breach or an incident that occurs in your organization. You also need to allow for enough time for the tabletop exercise to actually happen because your staff should never have to rush through them. That would only increase the chance of a mistake. Make sure to allow enough time for these scenarios so that they're thorough and so no one misses an important step. Next comes the actual exercise where you identify probable scenarios that would lead to a data breach. Walk through those situations so your team can determine their preparedness. Because each scenario is different, not every exercise will look the same. It's important to go through different possibilities so your team is ready for anything, especially when it comes to cybersecurity. Because these are exercises and not actual incidents, you need to anticipate and embrace any unforeseen outcomes. If you notice any gaps in the response plan or someone makes a mistake, they shouldn't get shamed for it. It's good that your team is catching these issues now before a breach actually occurs in your organization. If there are any issues, work through these so that everyone is prepared if a data breach does happen. At the end of the exercise, recap the session and document the findings. Reiterating the process helps to reinforce what the perfect incident response plan looks like. And by documenting the findings, you have all of these for future reference. The team can revisit these exercise steps later to ensure that they perfected the plan and that they don't make the same mistakes again. Any company that deals with sensitive data should be using tabletop exercises. These simulations are one of the best ways to determine the team's preparedness for responding to an incident. Since these are discussion-based practices, there's no pressure if an unforeseen issue comes up. They help determine any flaws in the response plan so that the team can resolve before an actual breach happens. If you'd like to learn more about tabletop exercises for data breaches, reach out to eTactics. And you already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below. Well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to our YouTube channel.